Hey friends! Today I wanted to do an in-depth review and dive into a brand called Altier. I'm also going to demonstrate a daytime routine with these products. So this is a new luxury skincare line made in Germany and it is like crazy expensive. And by crazy expensive, I mean they have a serum that is $1,190. The rest of the skincare line, although it's not quite at that price point, it's all crazy high. And now I have tried every single product in the line. No, I did not drop almost $5,000 because that's about how much it costs to buy everything in the line. Um, but they actually have a discovery kit, which is a kit of samples of all of their products for 28 bucks. So I've actually bought a few of those because I wanted to really give all the products a bit of a try before I did this video. So as I said, I'm going to really dive into the brand and tell you a bit about it because it's so new that there's like next to no information out there. I personally have found zero reviews, whether vlog or blog or or even reviews on websites for spas that carry this line, I found absolutely nothing. So the extent of the information available is on their website. And so I'm gonna go through that information, but then I'm also going to give you like real feedback from somebody who's tried every single product for uh, a few weeks and tell you if I agree with the claims that they're making about these individual products. So First, I want to just kind of go over their about information. So they have a mission and values page, which is like all fluff in, in marketing, in my opinion. It's explore the world of auteur. We exist to elevate everyone's true individual beauty. Welcome to high active compositions, elevating skincare to an art form and your deepest authentic beauty to the surface. Beauty is truth, truth is beauty. I mean, this is like, they have one more little paragraph that is still the same type of just like fluffy um, language about art and craft and entrepreneurship and self-improvement through beauty. And it's like absolutely no substance to me. It gives me like no idea of the heart and soul of this company whatsoever. Um, so definitely disappointed in, in that in terms of trying to understand like what the brand is all about. Um, so I think their science and ingredients, that's where they intend to shine. I mean, they're supposed to be extremely high active formulas. And, um, you know, they say they have unparalleled efficiency, engage your skin on a deeper level, setting a precedent for the future of skincare. I mean, there's still a lot of that kind of fluff there, but there is a bit more about the active ingredients um, on here. So let's go through that. What they don't use are parabens, PEGs, phthalates, cyclomethicones, they don't do animal testing, no synthetic dyes, sulfates, mineral oil, or nanoparticles. All good things that you don't really want in your skincare. Um, so they're full of peptides, which are great. Um, peptides are essential, are skin essential amino acids. Um, Auteur hand selects them for their ability to act as messengers between cells and accelerate the production of vital skin supporting proteins, collagen, and elastin. Protein, collagen, and elastin, those are very important things in terms of maintaining youthful skin. So um, they're turning me on with that. So they have a collagen regulator tetrapeptide, dramatically restores suppleness of the skin, enhances lift, and prevents collagen breakdown. Um, cyclopeptide 5 is a unique peptide that improves skin density and delays the signs of aging. ECM moduline peptide solution, which is a trademarked solution, is a regenerative peptide supporting skin structure. Everlaskin, another trademark term, which is stem cell supporting peptide for, 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 for firmer, dense skin. They have golden collagen, which is fibroblast rejuvenating peptide with precious gold and platinum. Uh, SYN-AKE, uh, a registered trademark as well. It's a potent firming peptide for smoother, more voluminous skin. SYN-S or HYCAN, so syn -Zycan, is a contouring tripeptide that boosts collagen formation, supports the skin structure. X50 Myocept is an intensely potent contouring and lifting peptide. X50 Photoglow is a next generation peptide complex supporting collagen. And X50 Skin Barrier is a collagen supporting skin density building peptide complex. Um, I mean, I feel like we could take an hour going through all of these different 
I mean, seriously, I don't know if you can see. So that was just the peptides we went through. Now under their lifting and firming, they have all of these other ones. Some of them we already talked about, like the Sinhyacin and the Everless Skin. Um, some that we didn't already talk about were the Hylufix, which delivers intense hydration, reduces shadows, improves radiance, and visible, visibly um, diminishes signs of wrinkles. Englehardia Coralosepsis Leaf Extract targets skin elasticity and promotes enhanced skin tone. GABA aminobutriac acid is Botox-like impact to the skin and refresh and refreshes the skin. Liftis, registered trademark, immediate lifting, firming, and moisturizing. So under all these different, so they have their key categories, which are peptides, lifting and firming, radiance, tone and texture, wrinkles and fine lines, intense hydration and preventative care. And in each one of these sections, like they have this long list of active ingredients. Like here there's Reservatrol, which you might have heard of, High White, which is intensely hydrating, clarifying, um, Niacinamide, which is an anti has anti-inflammatory properties. I mean, the list of like active ingredients that they have under each one of these categories is like extensive. I mean, there's a ton of like scientific and in, in active ingredients in here. And I think that's their main thing is that they have just super highly active products. And so one of the interesting things they say on here is because their products are so highly active, they don't recommend you mix them with products from other brands. Now, on the one hand, that's why it's kind of almost scaring you into like, you just dump all your money into our brand. You can't use other products that you have if you want to experience. Uh, you know, all the effects of these highly active ingredients. Um, but on the other hand, there are lots of really highly active ingredients, and I'm sure there is truth to the fact that there could be interactions between some of these ingredients and maybe ingredients in other products, and, you know, they can't guarantee that you won't have some kind of reaction if you mix. Um, but I, I think the point I wanted to establish there without taking an hour of going through all of the different active ingredients they have is that, it's extensive. And I think there's a lot of science behind this brand. And I think that kind of leads into why it's so expensive is that it has all of these very highly active ingredients that are really highly sought after. Some of them, I, a lot of them I've never even heard of. Um, but I think it's an uncommon brand in, in that regard. So I wanna go into every single product because I have used every single product and I have experience with them. So, and I wanna demonstrate a few of them to you. So let's start with the um, Definitive Enzyme Cleanser. So it is $170. It is a powder cleanser that you mix with a little bit of water and it kind of foams up. It's very gentle. I really do like it. A lot of cleansers I use, you know, I put them on my face, um, you know, wash them off and whatnot, and then my skin feels really tight. With this one, it does not feel tight. The one thing I haven't tried is using it directly around my eye area. I have very sensitive eyes. I love the Biologique Recherche Lay U cleanser because it doesn't irritate my eyes and I can really get my eye makeup off with it. I honestly haven't tried working this in around my orbital area because I'm just so afraid that with all these super active enzymes that it's gonna irritate my eyes. So let me just tell you a little bit about it. Um, it's an exfoliating cleansing treatment. It is, although it comes in like a powder, once you mix it with water, it turns into a paste. So it's not like a physical exfoliator. It's not gonna give you the micro tears because it has little granulars. It's not like that. It's more of um, like a chemical type of exfoliation. So it's a high active complex with gentle yet deep um, pore cleansing. And uh, it's got active enzymes, natural that, um, sorry, that enhances your natural regenerative process, minimizes pores and improves texture. It's formulated with vitamin C and niacinamide for additional skin brightening. And um, yeah, it enhances radiance, minimizes pores. And we're going to demonstrate that one. So that's 1.7 ounces. 1.76 ounces, excuse me, for $170. So I don't have the actual bottles to show you because as I said, they have this discovery kit, which maybe let me show you the discovery kit before we get into the cleansing stuff. So it's this little guy, it's this very pretty little box that slides open and it has all the samples in it. 
I dare say, um, you know, if you were a lady who likes to host luncheons and that sort of thing, this would be a, like just the ador most adorable like hostess gift. Like I think hostess gift of the year, I would say for 2021 is the Auteur Discovery Box because it has these super luxurious skincare samples in it. And it's just such a pretty little box. The presentation's gorgeous. It gets you you know, sitting this at the head of, um, you know, every plate at your luncheon or your dinner party. Um, even for men, I mean, if you have men who are into taking care of their skin, I, I could see them enjoying this as well. So um, it's just a really, really pretty, it's got this gold leaf uh, lettering on it and this kind of design on the back. Um, and it has all of these two milliliter samples or 0 0.06 fluid ounces. So kind of the traditional, I'm sure you all have gotten samples that come in these little packs that you tear open. Um, now, one thing when I was ordering these is I was like, you know, I feel like when I open these types of little sample containers and I use it once, there's a lot more than one use in there, but then it gets exposed to the air and it's just kind of sitting around and I feel like it degenerates the product. So I actually found these really cool little clips on Amazon. They're actually like bag clips for your kitchen but they're the right size and they clip really tight. I'll show you one. See, this is like one of the open ones I have. And I, so I'm able to kind of like tear the packet open, use it, and then use this clip to seal it back up. And it, and it's like, it's totally sealed. And so these are amazing. They're like the perfect size to do it. They like clip really tight to cut off the airflow. So I'll put the link to these below. I bought them on Amazon. I think they were maybe like $7. Um, so I feel like I will forever use these little clips. Even if I stop using these samples from Mautier, I'll use them with other samples that I get and I want to get more than one use out of them. So like these are like one of my, going to be one of my top buys of the year, at the end of the year, 2021, um, these clips, because they're just freaking awesome. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you get to experience their entire skincare line um, through these little packets. And I find that one of these discovery boxes, if I use it really consistently, lasts me about two and a half weeks. Uh, so I really feel like I got a chance to try out the products. The only product that I literally used once was the retinol and I'll explain to you why. I literally used it once once we get to the retinol uh, product and talking about that. But let's go ahead and cleanse with that exfoliating cleanser. Um, so I already have it open and I've got one of my little clips on it. And so this is called the Definitive Enzyme Cleanser. And you'll see it is this like white powder. Okay, make sure you can kind of see it come out. Okay, so it's just like a white powder. And what I'm gonna do is take some cold water and just kind of, ooh, you can see my band-aid there. Hey, y'all got my second vaccine yesterday. I guess I should take the, <laughs> um band-aid off by now um okay anyway yeah showered and everything with that bad boy on it's a, it's a good band-aid there anyway so i'm kind of I put just a little bit of water and it's turned it into this kind of liquidy paste and i'm just gonna dive right into it and kind of just smoosh it in my hands and go for the scrub so it has kind of a floral perfumey scent to it and it has sort of a paste like texture I'm gonna add just a little touch of water to my hands because there's still some of the product on there there we go and I can still feel the slickness and I wanted to get it down my face so you can keep kind of adding just a little dribble of water because once it hits your skin it does sort of kind of firm up because it's that sort of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like this almost like slightly muddy kind of texture, but liquidy at the same time. I almost think about, okay, think about if you're using cornstarch to thicken something in the kitchen. That's kind of like what it's like. You add a little bit of water to it and it has sort of that cornstarchy uh, sort of texture, like thickening texture to it when the water hits it. Okay, so we've got that on. 
let's see what the instructions say about use. So um, we added water to it. We um, emulsified it into a liquid, massaged it onto the skin. It wants you to allow the treatment to penetrate for 30 seconds before rinsing with lukewarm water. It's something you can use in the morning or the evening. And for optimal results, it says to follow it with the definitive lifting toner. And you know what? I'm actually just realizing as I'm reading this that that's, I think, the one product, that lifting toner, that's actually not in the discovery set, which is kind of weird. So I guess I was incorrect when I said I've tried everything in the set, but I've tried nearly everything. I think that lifting toner is the only thing that's not in the discovery set. Um, but that's okay. I and use my Biology Crochet Solution P50. Uh, that is my all-time favorite toner. So... I will never give that one up no matter what. It's just incredible. Um, so let's let this kind of sink in. And while we do that, I'm gonna just kind of get ready to tone with my Biology Recherche. And I can talk to you for a moment about that product while we're letting this do its thing. So Biology Recherche is a French skincare brand. Uh, their Lotion P50 is probably their most famous product in their line. They have different variations of the Lotion P50. I, for the longest time, was using Lotion P50 V1970. Right now, I'm using, using the Lotion P50 1970, the difference being that V. This one's a little more intense. Um, and I kind of bought it on accident, actually. I didn't realize I wasn't buying the V. I think once this runs out, I'll go back to the V. Uh, just because I have found that I've gotten a little bit of a skin reaction from this one. Again, as I said, I think it's a little stronger than the P50 V1970. So anyway, for this one, I always swirl it a bit. I don't shake it. I use these little gauze squares, which I'll link below. This is, you know, one of my all time favorite Best Buys as well. Uh, they don't soak up near as much product as cotton rounds do. Um, so anyway, that's what we're gonna use next because I don't have that lifting toner from out here. But let's go ahead and take this off now. So it has certainly dried down. Um, to this kind of texture I can feel is like sort of tightening my skin. But when I take it off, my skin doesn't feel tight, if that makes sense. And what I mean by that is that sometimes, you know, when you use a cleanser and you take it off, your skin feels tight, like in a bad way, as if that cleanser sucked all the moisture out of your skin. So when I take this off, I, it does not have that feeling. Um, but right now it has more of a tightening feeling as if it's kind of like lifting and minimizing the pores. So I'm using um, my all-time favorite cloth for removing um, cleansers, and it is the 12 Beauty 50% cotton, 50% bamboo cloth. Link that one below too. It's another one of my like all-time best buys. I will always use this cloth. I went on a long kind of hunt to find the best sort of product removing cloth that had just the right amount of friction to get things off, but also was soft and didn't feel like it was tugging at my skin. And um, these are incredible. I think I have like seven or eight of them because they're just so wonderful. And you can hand wash them and hang them right up and they dry super quick. You don't even have to put them through the laundry. Um, okay, so I'm using lukewarm water on that 12 Beauty cloth to eliminate or remove the enzyme cleanser by Auteur. Okay, I feel like we got that off well. As I said, I did not use it directly around my eyes. I just am afraid to do that um, without more information. I mean, there's such little information about this brand out there. I feel like maybe I need to reach out to them and ask them if it's safe to do it um, before I put it too close to my eyes. Um, okay, so let's uh, just uh, diverge from Altier for a second and use this Biologique Recherche Lotion P50 V1970. Going to some on this cotton square gauze, tap it into my skin in an upward motion. Now this is, you know, the one product that I have 
continued to use whenever I'm using the Autura products and it has not caused any kind of reaction. As I said, you know, they say you shouldn't use any other product with their products because their products are so active. Um, but this one continues to not cause a problem. So I will keep using it. So upward motions, I always do my neck and my chest. And as I said, this is a liquid exfoliator. So we're kind of doing a double exfoliation, right? Because that um, enzyme cleanser has exfoliating properties. And then this Balagique Recherche Lotion P50 is an exfoliator. So exfoliation, gentle exfoliation to your skin is really, really great for skin turnover. So those two are actually quite a nice little duo. Um, okay, so for serum, let's actually, sorry, before I move on to demonstrating a serum for you, I am going to tell you a little bit about their definitive lifting toner uh, because it is one of the products in their line and I use the Biology Crochet sort of in its place. So the toner is $165 for 3.4 ounces. So let's just do a little context. My lotion P50 is 8.4 ounces. And I believe this was somewhere in the neighborhood of like 100 or 120 um, for this guy. And this is 8.4 ounces. So 3.4 ounces, $165 for their toner. So a lot more expensive for less than half the product. They say their product is for firming and balancing, and it's a high active complex composition that lifts, firms, and balances while supporting the skin's natural cell regeneration process. It's a potent peptide combination that prevents wrinkle formation by enhancing epidermal cell generation. And what it does is it smooths existing wrinkles by supporting elastin and collagen production. Um, so its main benefits are more radiant, healthy skin, intense lasting hydration, and it reduces the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and expression lines. So I think not exactly the same thing as the Biology Recherche, at least in its claims, um, because the Biology Recherche Lotion P50 is more of an exfoliation product, not so much intended for hydration and that sort of thing. Um, certainly cell uh, turnover and regeneration they both share. Um, but the intense lasting hydration part of this is something that's certainly different. And the ingredients in it as well are different. It says its key actives are the X50 Photo Glow, Hyaluronic Complex, uh, Thalassin 2G, no idea what that is, Pentavitin, no idea what that is, Rosmerlin Glucoside. I mean, these are those last three things are like trademarked um, kind of complexes by Auteur. So they must have some kind of like fancy skincare lab but they've developed all of these kind of proprietary compounds to help uh, with your skin. Now, sadly, that one I cannot attest to its effectiveness or how it feels because I just haven't used it. So let's move on to serums. Um, they have four and I have tried all four of them. There is the composition number one. That one's the one that's $1,190. And I just can't say that without saying it in like this jovial, jesting way because it just sounds so insane. So $1,190 for 1 1.7 ounces. Um, let me see if I have anything that's about that size so I can give you context of what 1.7 ounces might look like. I'm just kind of peeking here. My double tonsure is one ounce. Um, do I have something else that's similar in size? I really, okay, here we go. So the hydration vaccine by NIOD, this is 1.7 ounces. So, uh, you know, to give you kind of context of the size of the bottle you're gonna get for $1,190, it's gonna be about this size of product. Um, so the composition number one, its most expensive product is the definitive expression of the Auteur skincare philosophy. This high active complex composition activates your skin's deepest potential to achieve its optimal condition. Blah, 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 marketing BS. Auteur's powerful pure fluo carbon complex formulated at 10% concentration penetrates deep beneath the skin surface oxygenating and elevating regenerative and healing performance. Okay, so finally in like the fourth sentence, we got to the point of it, is that it's supposed to oxygenate and elevate uh, regeneration and healing to the skin. 
So it boosts collagen synthesis and enhances skin tone and firmness. Highly regenerative, repl replenishing oxygen levels within the skin that decreases with age. Uh, basically, it's saying oxygen decreases with age, and this is supposed to help replenish that. And it also accelerates skin healing and repair. So I have tried that serum. Um, I will say that I feel like it's an evening serum because it leaves behind sort of this chalkiness on your skin. So I wouldn't want to use it in the morning. Um, and then even I feel like if, I've never tried putting makeup over it, but it leaves kind of this chalky film. So I just can't imagine that would play real well with your makeup. So I would say it's an evening time serum. Um, I can't say like that I've noticed a big difference. I mean, one thing that I will say is that I've been kind of cycling through all these different products. So it's going to be hard for me to say this one product has achieved this one thing for me. I will say generally the one main thing that I've really noticed in terms of difference in my skin is I have this little line, which I think the light catches, you can see right there, that line. And I have definitely noticed that that line has diminished over the last couple of weeks. It's not completely gone, obviously, because you can still see it, but I definitely have noticed that it has diminished and gotten less deep and less pronounced. Um, so again, I can't attribute it to any particular product, but just kind of the use of all of the products together. So I can tell you that that um, composition number one is a cream. Uh, it goes on like a cream. It's not liquidy like a serum and it leaves kind of that white cast. So if you decide to use it, I would use it as an evening time serum. Okay, let's move on to the next serum in their collection. Um, it is their definitive retinol serum. Now that one's the one that I said earlier, I have only used one time. And the reason why I've only used it one time is because I am very hesitant about retinols because I've used retinol in the past and it, it really I had poor skin reaction, dryness, red flare ups, patches. I mean that, I guess if you read about retinol is somewhat normal and your skin is supposed to get past that. But I just have never, used it long enough to get past that phase, I guess, because my skin would just keep getting worse and worse. And I was like, I'm not going to keep doing this to my skin. I, I don't feel like intuitively, I don't feel like it's doing something good. But I will say for the first time I used this retinol last night. And as you can see today, my skin is not flared up. So they recommend using it three times a night or sorry, three times a week. So I am going to start using it. I am less scared of it because my skin is not flared up from it. So it is kind of, it's a cream substance. It's sort of this like off white, almost very lightly yellow retinol. Um, it is intended for overnight use. So if you use retinol, you do not want to use it in the morning because um, retinol is very reactive to the sun and you can um, increase your chances of getting a sunburn, which is very bad for your skin. So you want to use retinol at night and you want to make sure that you wear sunscreen the day after you use retinol. You really should use sunscreen every day, but it's particularly important um, the day after using retinol that you use sunscreen because you can still get burned even many hours later from using a retinol. So um, it's intent of this retinol product is to deliver visibly renewed, smoother skin. It diminishes the appearance of fine line wrinkles and age spots. That is what a retinol is supposed to do. Um, so, I'm not showing you that one today, but um, it's a cream that you just kind of gently massage in after you do your toning step. You follow it with um, your cream. And again, you do that overnight. So yeah, it's got, uh, okay, so let me just tell you a couple more about the active ingredients in that. Encapsulated retinol, which is stabilized vitamin A. Um, bacuconol, which is the first natural altern alternative to retinol and it restores skin brilliance. So maybe that's why it's a little more gentle is that um, it's retinol also paired with kind of this natural or alternative to retinol. Also has a hyaluronic complex, which I will attest to hyaluronic acid as being something that has really helped me um, with staving off wrinkles. And then squalene, which is a powerful natural antioxidant that balances oil production. Um, okay, the next serum, which I believe is the one I'm going to demonstrate for you, is the Definitive Hyaluron Activator. Oh, so sorry, let's let's just rewind. That retinol serum, 340 bucks. Let me just make sure I tell you about that. And that's for one ounce, okay? My Double Tonsier by Sicily is one ounce. Okay, so about this much product for $340. That's for the retinol. Okay, 
the definitive hyaluron activator you know what i'm going to put it on first and then i'm going to talk about it because i'm going to want it to sink in a little bit so again i'm using the sample size of it i definitely think that this um hyaluronic serum is unique i can just feel it i've used a ton of different hyaluronic serums i really like dr barbara strom's i know people you know say how expensive and overpriced that one is it made a huge difference in my skin i uh, tried niod's a hyaluronic acid serum was less impressed with it this one is just different it's um got a clear sorry let me see if i can get some of that up it's a clear like gel but it's like super slippy i mean that little bit it's so easy to spread around the texture of it is just this very like slippy silicone -y kind of texture it's just a different texture than any other hyaluronic serum that i have ever tried and when i first started with this line i was using for my serums, I was alternating between that composition number one and then their definitive wrinkle serum, which we'll talk about in a second. And my skin started to get really dry from using those. And I started integrating this in and all the dryness went right away. So I can definitely attest that this does help with hydration. And that's the main thing of a hyaluronic complex is that it's supposed to help give you intense hydration. And so I feel like this is a product that I can say, I noticed it did something because in reaction to my skin getting dry from those other products, started using this within like two days, I was back to having like really nice um, hydrated skin. So I'm at the bottom of this guy. You know, I think I maybe got five or six uses because a little bit really goes a long way with this stuff. Um, I really, really, really like the Definitive Hyaluron Activator. Recommend that one. Uh, okay, the last serum they have is the Definitive Line Serum. So that's actually the product that got me interested in this line. So I had bought actually online my Biologique Recherche Lotion P50 and I got it as a sample. And I remember taking it out and putting it on and being and just feeling like instantly like it was doing something. Um, so it's a gel, a like texture. It's kind of like a light amber, um, you know, brownish yellowish uh, color to it. And instantly, I don't know, I just put it on and I could feel that it was doing something. I could feel it lifting and firming and I, it just felt like it was full of powerful, highly active ingredients. Um, so that's what intrigued me and got me interested in the brand and digging into it. Um, so it's an intelligent wrinkle care, they call it. Um, so it's got uh, a potent combination of peptides that relaxes deep lying micro mu muscles to release um, smooth and lift horizontal and lateral lines. It supports natural collagen synthesis and moisturizes and balances hydration. So I think that's really interesting, the releasing of those deep lying micro muscles. Um, I've just never heard of that being a claim of any skincare product. And I imagine that it's continual use uh, is what you would need to do to really realize um, the effect of those micro muscles relaxing. Um, but as I said, it's one that I could just feel when I put it on that it was doing something. Uh, so that one's $390 for one ounce. So I'm gonna go back to the Sicily to give you um, kind of the visual of what about one ounce of product might look like. And I feel like almost this cap makes it look like a lot more. I mean, this is one ounce of, of product within this bottle, which you really can't see. Maybe it's really only full to there. But um, one ounce of that definitive uh, line serum is $390. And I feel like I have to go back because I, I don't think I told you about the price on the Hyaluron Activator, which is the one I was talking about and demonstrated to you just a moment ago, $330 for that one. And you get 1.7 ounces. So I'm gonna go back to this visual of what 1.7 ounces looks like. Um, it's like, the more I bring it down, the smaller the bottle gets. Uh, but that was the um, Hyaluron Activator, $330. Okay, so that's all the serums they have in their line. Now they say you can use any serum followed by any cream. There's not any particular ones that pair with uh, the particular creams, you know, any better. Um, so let's actually next go to their eye cream, which I do have a sample of. 
Um, they suggest putting your eye cream on first. Now, a lot of times um, I've heard from other skincare lines that you put your eye cream on after your face cream, but they say because of how active um, their creams are, you know, in the, in the skin around your eyes is very delicate that putting the eye cream on first uh, actually helps with kind of protecting that very delicate skin for maybe some of the super active ingredients that you might not want to affect that very delicate skin. So their definitive eye cream, $420. And for $420, you get 0.5 ounces. Can I give you a visual on 0.5 ounces? Let me see if I've got something that's 0.5. Well, this is 0.25, so double the size of this. Let's see, how about this guy? Oh, here's one that's 0.5. Okay, so this is 0.5 ounces. This is not the Autier bottle. I'm just giving you a visual of what the size is like. $420 for a half ounce. Now this is a cream uh, that I'm going to show to you. Where did I put it though? That's the question. Um, this one I have to open. Okay, so I'm gonna open it for you on screen. Not that this should be some thing that you've never seen or never done yourself is open a packet like this, but it tears across like that. And then I'm going to take out just the tiniest bit. I mean, the eye cream goes a really long way. So it's a white, very classic kind of texture for an eye cream. I put, you know, it around the orbital area and then kind of tap it in all the way around, not like directly on the lid. You go around your orbital bone and then that very thin skin around your eyes will absorb it and take it uh, all the way, you know, around your eye onto your lid. So it's not necessary to pat it like directly on your lids or directly like by your lash line. So that was like the teeniest, tiniest amount. So I wanted to show you uh, putting this guy back on. So I put this on clip it closed and there's always a little bit of product that comes out. So I anticipate that too with how much I'm taking out of it is that, cause this clip's so tight, it always pushes a little bit of product out. So we're going to just use that little bit of eye product that came out when it got clipped closed. Okay. So I've got that on and now I'm going to tell you more about it. We talked about its astronomical price already. So it's got the potent skin AKE peptide, which releases deep lying, uh, deep lying facial micro muscles to visibly lift firm and soften lines. So similar to um, the other products that we spoke about, it has that muscle, micro muscle releasing that's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, it's also supposed to help with dark circles and puffiness and that those uh, things are supposed to be vis visibly diminished Skin health improved in the eye area pre pre appears smoother, brighter, and firmer. Now, I will say I haven't been particularly impressed with this eye cream. Um, I, I have dark circles, particularly under this one eye. I've always had this like dark circle. I do not feel like it's gotten better. Um, I also actually feel like my puffiness lately has gotten a little bit worse, which could have nothing to do with the product, just like life. But I don't feel like this product has helped with dark circles or puffiness. I'm actually at, at the age of 36, have never really had much in the way of wrinkles around my eyes. They just haven't developed yet. My wrinkles started on my forehead. Um, so I, you know, I can't really say that I feel like it's done a lot for eye wrinkles too, just because I, I just didn't really have much in the way of eye wrinkles to address. So, you know, I really look at my eye creams as preventative at this point to prevent wrinkles from forming. Um, but I, I, I honestly just can't say I'm super impressed with it because it hasn't addressed the dark circle, which would be my main complaint. If you said, what is your main complaint around your eye skin? For me, it's dark circles. And I can't say that that has improved. So it's it's certainly not a product that I would spend $420 on. Okay, so let's go to their creams. So they have three creams in their line. Um, and actually, they, they include that eye cream in their cream section. So aside from the eye cream, they have two. And I have used both of them. There's the Definitive Density Cream. Um, that one is... $325 for a one ounce. And I'm gonna give you the one ounce visual again. Um, or they have a 1.7 ounce size 
which is about this size for $525 in case you have that laying around. Um, so this is a silky like formulation that supports the skin's own defense and immune systems. Um, their complex accelerates oxygen delivery to damaged skin, dramatically boosts the skin's natural cell regeneration processes, and promotes significantly healthier skin. It's another one that's supposed to uh, relax those deep lying facial muscles to release and smooth lines. Uh, let's see if that is that the one I'm going to be showing you today. No. Uh, so the Definitive Density Cream is the one I'm talking about. I have used this cream. It is a white cream, very traditional um, texture in terms of like a face cream. Uh, there's nothing that stands out about it. Again, I've used kind of cycled through all these different products. It's not one that I put on my face and I'm like instantly like, I feel like that's doing something or my skin feels some kind of way. Um, it, so I just, I don't have anything to say about it other than in the concoction of all of them together, I've seen some improvement in my skin and, and that very well plays a part in it. Uh, so let's go to the other cream that I'm going to demonstrate for you today. That is the Definitive Restoration Cream. And that guy is another white uh, kind of traditional type feel of a cream. $250 for one ounce, again, giving you visual reference for size. And 1.7 ounce, visual reference for size, is $385. So this is a super rich moisturizing formulation that offers immediate absorption and works in harmony with potent active ingredients, including growth factors, ceramides, and hyaluronic complex to restore nourishment and density. Uh, boosts collagen synthesis to restore cellular structure, strengthens the skin's defense against environmental stressors, moisturizes, balances, and refreshes skin's natural appearance. So let's put some on. So Definitive Restoration Cream, let's go, is, okay, it's a white, White cream, as I said, has the texture of kind of any other face cream, has the same kind of lightly floral, almost soapy smell um, that the cleanser had. And, you know, rubs in like a, any other cream. And just to get some on my neck, we'll do kind of that clip closed, which always pushes some of the product out. I always carry all my skincare products down my neck in my decollete. I feel like it's important to treat that skin as you do your face because you show signs of age here just as much as you do here. Okay, so I, I'm gonna kind of finish this off. My lips have been dying for some kind of moisture. I'm actually gonna use my McCreeny Actives uh, High Performance Lip Filler, which you can see I'm almost out of. I bought this bad boy in like February of last year um, and I'm almost done with it and using it religiously for like a year, twice a day. Um, and it's a nice little gloss. I feel like other people rave about that one and I just was had a lot higher expectations. Um, it's supposed to give you like some long-term plumping, not instant gratification plumping. Um, and I just feel like my, my lips haven't really gotten bigger in the last year. And that bad boy's like 125 bucks, something like that. So I was expecting uh, a bit more out of that one. But anyway, this review is not about McCreeny Actives. It is about Autier. So that's it, guys. That's the entirety of their line. Um, I got intrigued by it because some of the spas that I really respect that carry Biologique Recherche um, started carrying this line. So I was like, okay. And I got that sample of the Definitive Wrinkle Serum and was just like wowed by it. And I feel like so few products wow me on like first try where I'm like, that's doing something. So I kind of just went down this wormhole of Autier and I got excited when I discovered those very affordable discovery sets. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's what I've been using and I've kind of fallen more and more in love with the products. I feel like if I had an unlimited bag of money, which products would I buy? I would buy the Definitive um, 
line wrinkle serum that's the one that i had that very first sample of i did not demonstrate that one for you but that's the one i said i put on my skin and instantly kind of felt like this lift so that was the definitive um line wrinkle serum i would buy their hyaluronic um activator the definitive hyaluron activator and i think those are the two that i would buy I really do like the cleanser, but I think it's just like crazy expensive for a cleanser. I love my Lay You by Biology Recherche. So, um, yeah, I think those are the two that I would buy. If I had an unlimited bag of money, I would maybe buy them all. I mean, it's literally like about $5,000 to buy everything in the line. Um, and I think that's with buying the smaller containers of the few that they offer in smaller containers. I do want to see if I can kind of show you my super smudged iPad, like forgive me, this thing gets majorly abused, but maybe if it helps you kind of see what the bottles are these very luxe, I'm presuming glass bottles, um, with these kind of tortoise shell lids on them. So I imagine, you know, the ritual and the textile or the tactile feel of the bottles, uh, feels very lovely. Um, but you know what, I, I recommend if you're interested in this, spend the 28 bucks and try a definitive discovery set. Spend the, like I said, I think it was about $8 to get these little clippies off Amazon. That really helps to preserve them and keep the oxygen out between the uses. But if you're considering buying anything from this line, full stop, get the discovery set first, try out everything. Again, I don't know why the toner was not in my discovery set. Maybe it's, it's not a product that does well within these little packets. I don't know why they would leave that one out. Um, but you can try everything else in the line except for that toner for 28 bucks. So I highly recommend going over to World of Auteur. That's their website. If you just Google Auteur Skin, make sure you put skin at the end. Otherwise, you'll get all kinds of other bizarre stuff. But um, I believe it's actually World of Auteur and Auteur is spelled A-U-T-E-U-R. So the website is worldofauteur.com. As I said, you can just Google Auteur Skin and you'll find it as well. Um, but it, it's it's an interesting line and, I, and there's such little information out there. So I hope if you're interested in this line that you found this video helpful. Um, and, and I think you should check out that discovery set and see how you feel for yourself. And I think that's all I have to say about it. Um, Thanks for checking out my channel. I hope you'll subscribe, comment, like. Those are things that just let me know that you're out there and it encourages me to keep doing videos. So those simple little clicks of a button really mean the world to me. So if you find it uh, in your heart to do a couple of them clicky clicks for me, I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna link everything below that I talked about, including the things that weren't by out here. And um, yeah, leave me a comment, say what's up, I'll write you back and have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.